Yuval Noah Harari, the author of the best-selling book Sapiens, as well as a chief advisor to the World Economic Forum, just came out recently and said that AI could write a new Bible, one that's actually real and true. I'll play that clip in just a moment. In this video, I'll also get into other news currently going on that ties to the one world religion, as well as transhumanism, all tied into Bible prophecy. First, in case you don't know who Yuval Noah Harari is, I'll play a couple clips for you so you get an idea. Not the intelligent design of some God above the clouds, but our intelligent design. We are really upgrading humans into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the, the power to re-engineer life. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. For someone who says he doesn't believe in the Bible, he sure loves to talk about it. And I've never heard him even bring up other religions, but he just loves to critique and criticize the Bible. And he came out recently and said AI could write a new religious text. It could write a new Bible soon and one that's actually true and real. Here's that clip. AI can create new ideas can even write a new Bible. We, you know, throughout history, religions dreamt about having a book written by a superhuman intelligence, by a non-human entity. Every religion claims our book, all the other books of the other religions, they, humans wrote them. But our book, no, 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 no. It came from some superhuman intelligence. In a few years, there might be religions that are actually correct, that, just think about a religion whose holy book is written by an AI. That could be a reality in a few years. I would love to hear Yuval's response to Bible prophecy because the Bible is the only book that actually has proven prophecy, proving it was written by God through mankind. But I believe he probably knows this deep down, which is why he constantly only attacks the Bible. Now, artificial intelligence truly could create a new religion and it could really fall into play with end times Bible prophecy. In Revelation 17, it talks about the great harlot in the end times. The term harlot in the Old Testament is a metaphor for false religion. And we know in the end times, there will be a one world religion that will be taking place. In Revelation 17, it tells us, then he said to me, the waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. If artificial intelligence truly creates a new religion, we know that many peoples and multitudes could easily take part in this. God, of course, in his wisdom gave us another prophecy because he knew these times would come and that's Galatians 1.9 and that says, as we have said before, so now I say again, if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. That passage in Galatians says, even if an angel from heaven comes, that's why if supernatural entities, such as whatever this alien phenomenon is, come to the earth and preach a different gospel, cannot believe them no matter what supposed evidence they have. Artificial intelligence is truly in all technology. I hear many Christians warning of artificial intelligence taking over in the last days, but something that they may not understand is that artificial intelligence is truly in every single piece of technology. In Instagram, in YouTube, in computers, and cell phones, on every app, on every browser, on it all, artificial intelligence is controlling the algorithms, controlling the processors, controlling what information you see, it truly is in all technology, which is why it makes sense to be the harlot in Revelation 17 that many peoples, nations, and multitudes take part in. We could see it even one day fulfilling the larger levels of prophecy that we have not yet seen, such as what takes place in Revelation 13, 15. And that says, he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. Revelation 13 talks about a one world religion, one world control of finances, one world government, all these things that will one day take place and be controlled by the Antichrist. And artificial intelligence could definitely play a huge role in that. Obama even came out yesterday on June 16th. This article says, Obama suggests digital fingerprints to counter misinformation, quote, so we know what's true and what's not true. It's very clear to see how technology and artificial intelligence could take place in the Revelation 13 control of everything. We're also seeing a growing trend in transhumanism and people wanting to merge with machines. We're seeing this with Neuralink, Elon Musk's company, that just on May 26th, here's an article that says Elon Musk's brain chip firm wins US approval for human study. This of course is implanting brain chips within human beings. There's a few end times prophecies that could be referencing to transhumanism. One is in Daniel chapter two, verse 43, 
and that says, as you saw, iron mixed with ceramic clay, they will mingle with the seed of men, but they will not adhere to one another, just as iron does not mix with clay. And if people do merge with machines and they don't live out their natural lifespan like they should, Revelation 9 verse 6 could also be a reference to that as well. And that says, in those days men will seek death and will not find it, they will desire to die and death will flee from them. We're truly in a period where we're looking at the season and what is going on to determine how soon will these events truly take place because it really looks as if all these things are clearly definitely at least being set up to move in the direction of the last day's prophecies. No one knows the day or the hour and no one will. God alone knows that day. But we can see how the stages for these prophecies to be fulfilled are absolutely being set up. Something that no other religious text has, which again could reference to Yuval Noah Harari as to why the Bible is absolutely the truth and from God. But that truly fulfills another prophecy in 2 Timothy chapter 3 that says mockers and scoffers will come in the last days. In my opinion, what we're seeing is the beginning stages for the groundwork to be set for these prophecies to be fulfilled. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. There's some that are huge that will still need to take place but those things could happen fast, those things could happen slow. One thing I know is that God is very long-suffering and merciful in waiting to get as many people to come to repentance as possible. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it says that God desires all people to come to repentance. What we do know is that we can fully trust God in his timing, whatever these people say, whatever they do, if transhumanism starts to blow up, as artificial intelligence continues to advance to whatever that will be, these are just the times we're in, but we can truly trust God and his timeline. He's gracious, he's long suffering, he loves us, which is why he gave us prophecy, which is also why he made us in his own image, in his own likeness, as told to us in Genesis chapter 126, which sadly these people who want to merge with machines do not understand. Hopefully they will before they do that. There's a lot of prophetic foundations being laid to grow into the fulfillment of these last days prophecies. That's what it seems at least to me. Let me know in the comments what you think and any other things like this going on in the world right now. God is good. He always has been, always will be. We can trust in him. Keep your number one focus always on growing a relationship with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit through the word, prayer, and worship. Listening to teachings as well as helpful. Keep God first and everything else will fall into place just how it's supposed to. Thanks for watching and God bless.